Hello, my name is Yusuf Chitalwala and I am the Applications Engineering Manager for the Test and Measurement Instrument Group at Yokogawa Corporation of America. Today, we're going to talk, uh, take a look at how to make accurate current measurements. The question that often troubles design engineers is where in the circuit do you make your current measurements? How do you minimize the effects of input resistance of the measuring device and subsequent power losses uh, on the overall measurement accuracy? Well, my next two cases should hopefully answer that for you. Now, depending on the amplitude of your current signal and the input resistance of the measuring device, wiring the circuit to match the load can minimize the effects of power loss on the overall measurement accuracy. Taking Yokogawa power analyzers as an example, here's my first case. When measuring current that is relatively large, why are such that the voltage measurement circuit is connected to the load side? Let's consider the following current source and load resistance circuit below. In this circuit, the current measurement circuit measures the sum of currents flowing through the load, which I'm going to call IL, and the current flowing through the voltage measurement circuit, which I will call IV. Because the current flowing through the load is IL, IV is the amount of error on the total current measured by the device. On Yokogawa power analyzers, the input resistances of the voltage measurement circuit is approximately 10 mega ohms. If the input voltage was 1000 volts, IV is approximately 0.1 milliamps. If the load current IL is 1 amp or more, then the effect of IV on the overall measurement accuracy is 0.01% or less. Similarly, if the input voltage was 100 volts, IV is 0.01 milliamps and the effect of IV on the overall measurement accuracy is 0.001%. Therefore, when measuring large currents, placing the voltage measurement device as shown in this circuit will minimize the error on the overall current measurements and thereby also minimize the error on the overall measurement accuracy. Now, can you imagine what would happen if I were to use the same circuit to measure relatively small currents? Exactly. The effect of IV on the overall measurement circuit would be large. This brings me to my second case. When measuring current that is relatively small, why are such that the current measurement circuit is connected to the load side, or in other words, voltage measurement circuit is connected to the source side? In this circuit, current through the load IL would be the same current measured by the current measuring device without any error from IV. You may argue that uh, this arrangement could uh, affect the voltage measurement and in turn could also affect the overall accuracy. Well, not much. On Yokogawa power analyzers, the input resistance of the current measuring device is very low. Uh, the input resistances range from 2 milli ohms to 500 milli ohms depending on the device selected. So the voltage drop across this resistor would be very small and the effect of, on the overall accuracy would be minimal. So in summary, for Yokogawa power analyzers, when measuring large currents, wire the circuit such that the voltage measuring circuit is connected to the load side. And when measuring small currents, wire the voltage measurement circuit to the source side. Thank you for listening and hope this was helpful. Uh, for more information on Yokogawa power analyzers, please feel free to check us out at tmi.yokogawa.com. Yokogawa's complete line of power analyzers from 310 to the high performance 3000 are some of the most commonly used instruments in testing of today's power electronics. They are accurate, they are reliable, and they are easy to use.